uh, Wednesday, November 28th, 2012. I'm just sitting outside of Walmart waiting for the uh, fog to clear out off of the um, windshield. I went in, they returned the, I returned the um, cordless charger I bought. Got another one. Um, <clears throat> hopefully this will last. They say lifetime warranty on them. They're going to have to register or whatever, because they don't think this one's going to last much longer either. But, um, I'm going to shoot over to Lowe's and, uh, cover my credit card bill. Uh, yeah, I'm going to work on the, uh, storage units, and i got to try to find a, um, way to get my cat shots. Uh, the girl who's taking care of my cat was acting kind of funny. That I'm not having shots, and she's worried that he's going to be there too long or whatever, so I'm going to have some issues. That's, that's where I'm at today, so I got bit a couple times by bed bugs. What I've been doing is turning my clothes all inside out and uh, spraying the heck out of them with this hot shot uh, bed bug killing spray. I killed one with my fingernail this morning and it was in my bed full of blood. I did get bit a couple of times. Um, it's starting to come up my neck now. <laughs> so, I guess I got bit in the eye area. Uh, it's just a nightmare. Bed bugs are just horrible. Fix them. If they've used two cans of uh, hot shot bed bug spray up already at that mission. Anyway, that's, that's the plan today is work on the storage unit, get it clear down to uh, one trailer and not the paste, big paste trailer. I pull the big paste trailer out, just put that little red one in there. Then when the end of the month rolls around, hopefully I can up trade that one to, for a bigger one and then I'm going to pull out the uh, the trailer into the back of it, the new bigger one, and uh, go get the utility truck and get that running. Then I'm going to, after that's running and registered, I'll pull that out, put it up for sale, and then uh, uh, bring the bigger truck there and get that running, and then I'm going to use that for runs to uh, Pennsylvania, Florida, and whatnot. Anyway, that's the plan, so... <laughs> Well, now that it's light out, I can see what I was doing last night. I got the big one of the big boxes here. I'm going to put the other one right next to it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to, after I fill them all uh, with stuff I'm not going to use right away, it's like a lot of construction tools and whatnot. And then I'll pile stuff high on them. <clears throat> I'm going to pack down this whole garage. A lot of this stuff is what I just normally live with, except for, uh, you know, it's got clothes, furniture, basic computer equipment, and uh, paperwork, which I don't think I'm ever going to catch up. I think I'm just going to draw a line in the sand and just start all over with my paperwork. A lot of it's digitized anyway, so... Uh, I have some canned milk. Uh, I got the generator running. I could actually make pure coffee. Dresser. <laughs> and my motorcycle. I gotta get this motorcycle going for spring for sure. For sure. Okay, this is gonna be my eBay processing center. I'm gonna sell everything I can. But for now, I just gotta pack down that other garage so I can shut it down. That way, um, when I add the other garage, I'm only going backwards about $40 <clears throat> and only for a month. Because I'll uh, hopefully be out of that within a month and have the other two vehicles on the road. Yeah, I'm starting to get hypothermic. I'm gonna go down to the library, warm up a little, upload this video from yesterday. Maybe, uh, Maybe put two more online that are already processed. No, I'll, I'll do them later because I don't have the speakers with me. So, 
Anyway, I gotta get I gotta get warmed up. This is insane. It's in the 20s today. Okay, I um had to go back to the place I used to live at and uh, find them the computer modem and stuff like that. Now now I'm cooking back up. I didn't finish uploading my videos. I'll have to do it tomorrow or later or something. But um. I think I gotta shoot back up to the storage unit. I think I gotta get a McDonald's burger or something. I found what seems to be a fairly decent uh, Wi Fi. It's Boston Beanery here. The McDonald's is right across the street here. I'm gonna get some uh, McDoubles. I'm not sure what Boston Beanery is. Check it out. Well, I thought it was fast, but it stopped uploading at 13 percent. Weird. Yeah, these bed bug bites are horrible. Looks like drug tracks. It was horrible, man. My whole body's covered with this kind of crap. Well, that was good. I uh, was trying a long launch outside the Boston Beanery. <laughs> using their Wi-Fi, which wasn't too bad. <clears throat> McDonald's apparently doesn't have Wi-Fi. But, um, that's okay. The beanery one was just as good. So anyway, back off to the uh, storage unit. And uh, maybe I can pack down the toolbox and move, move the other two toolboxes over before dinner here. Well, that was cool. I just uh, was checking the mouse trap. Actually, the mouse trap uh, sprung, but it didn't catch a mouse. But anyway, I saw the um, administrator of this place, and he said I could just start moving into this other big unit that's open, which is cool. That makes it 100 percent. I can shut down the phone. Okay, awesome. Here it is. This is great. Now I can start. Uh, I'll start moving some stuff over to here. The object is to get both of those trucks out of the um, Maple Street environment uh, so that I don't lose them. I'm going to measure pieces. Yeah, this one's 29 and a quarter. They're never quite the 30 feet they say they are. <laughs> but um, this is good. The uh, truck's about, maybe about 21 feet, I think, for the truck. That means I have um, eight and a quarter feet to try to squeeze that trailer in the back. I don't know if I can do it though. Maybe if I stand it on end and turn it sideways. Five, six, eight, nine. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I got nine and three quarter feet across. On the back, that's low, that's wider than they normally are. Huh. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Four, five, six, eight, nine. Yeah, it's almost ten feet across, wide. Well, that's good. It's wider than uh, I think I was expecting, but. Maybe the maybe they're all that wide, but I think I could probably do it if I put the trailer in and twist it sideways. So. Yeah, this will work. Be able to turn this trailer sideways in the back, and then I'll be able to fit uh, then I'll be able to fit um the big truck with three feet to spare. That'll be great. Okay, good. I got this mostly packed with all that stuff. Cleared up most of it. So I'm leaving that wire out. Um, this is good. I got room for some more stuff even. I didn't even bring the other one, which I don't even think is empty. I don't think it was really packed well to begin with. Okay, the new garage is locked up even though it's empty. And I could actually just take clear the side of this and then jockey this trailer right on out of here early on. So maybe I'll just uh, go pull that trailer into the other uh, unit. 
That way I'm ready to just bring a truck in. I'll go hook this trailer up to the uh, truck and pull it out. That's about 90% of what's in here. This job site box here is empty. That's going on the back of the uh, big pickup truck. And that one's about probably half or three quarters full. There's some other junk i got to use to fill up the other one. Okay, ones. I'm going to go get my truck and uh, take the trailer off in the big unit. Get it sideways so it's a bit, you know, it's all ready to process those other two trucks. Yeah, I'm such a good backer upper. Anyway, I unhook. And, uh, Actually, it looks like the truck just might barely fit with it facing straight out. I guess I should probably try to turn, tilt it anyway, just in case. We're dealing with inches here. Oh, it fit. Um, I could actually get another foot and a half. I actually have a foot of clearance. Even just leaving it like that. I broke one of the trailer lights off on the wall, darn it. These things are so wimpy. I don't know if we can fix that or not. We shall see. Okay, perfect. It's all swept out and ready to go. Normally I'd just fix it in her yard, but she's having a... Uh, she keeps making these weird comments, which makes me think that she's going to pull the plug on it at a bad time. So, better to keep control of the situation. I'll be able to, um, I'll pull this out of her yard, then I won't have any vehicles on private property except for the consignment vehicle, which I don't know what's going on with that. That's going to be another issue. But, um,. If I can get these other two trucks running quickly enough, maybe I'll even use this garage to process a consignment vehicle myself and sell it. If they aren't selling it, they're trying to pull something, I don't know. Trying to get me down below 200, that's just ridiculous. I'll scrap it and get 300. Anyway, um... Okay, this is ready, so I'm going to just lock this up and continue on the uh, clearing of, uh, of of that one unit. Well, this one's a tad heavier to maneuver. I'm trying to pull this one out. It's about 3.30. i got about a half hour. i got to be down with this cat. She never starts right on time, so I should actually have an hour before I should have to leave. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't seem to have the turning room to get this out of here. It's so tight. Really tight. I'm mean, gonna have to pull these toolboxes back. It's just gonna take some time. Incredibly, it looks like I'm just gonna barely make it. Just gotta K turn my way out of it. Luckily, I got a, a trailer hitch I made extra long just for heavy K turn. And my sweet, it's loose. As long as I got left, there's very little in this storage area and I got two days to clear this out. So I guess I'll do that tonight or tomorrow. Uh, I guess I'll do this tomorrow. I'm going to just shelve this project till tomorrow. That way I can get an earlier start. Tomorrow's uh, Thursday I think. I'll move that uh, big toolbox over there, pack that solid. And I'll put this uh, little toolbox, I guess, I'll put it for now on top of the one of the big toolboxes so that I can, when I pull the other truck in, I'll mount it on there. And there's some of my clothes, I hope. All right, <laughs> little by little, let's put this. Well, either the mice don't like Colby cheese, or there are no mice. Crazy. Usually they'd have about 12 mice by now. Okay, there it is. Perfection. Only cost 50 a month to store this whole shebang here, which will hold a whole ton of crap. I'm going to be putting in 
valuable stuff. This is uh, this is uh, going to be mobile. We're going to be going to some other. I'll have to go feed my kitty. Now it's back to the mission for a uh, mopping chore. Dead bugs. <laughs> Jeez, my neck's all messed up. My uh, arms are messed up. I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm at McDonald's right now. Let me go to Lowe's and get some deep woods off. Maybe that'll help sleep with that stuff. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna try this stuff. I hope this stuff works better than that other stuff. So I'm still getting bit up like mad. I'm gonna go back to the uh, mission now. Just left the storage unit. Wanted to get a picture of this uh, decoration these people did. That's nice. Check that out. That's what I call the festive spirit of Christmas. There's hardly anybody decorates anymore. If I had a house, I would. I don't know if I'd get as carried away as all that, but that's awesome. Ah, I'm going to get this Santa going up. I love it.